Hi, Kalpun Pisa here. Uh, giving one's life for our beliefs, or for one's beliefs, is the greatest expression of faith. In other words, if you believe in God and you believe, uh, you know, in heavens and eternal bliss in eternity, kill yourself. Then, then I'll be convinced that you really have faith. If you don't kill yourself, you're a hypocrite. You're not really a true believer. Uh, you can see that in the suicide bombers. And believe me, they started in the uh, 4th century, 5th century, the Christ psychotics. Islam psychosis originated from the cult of Timos Julius and is as destructive as uh, Christ psychosis is. And they are their own very pious people like the Hashashins of the 11th century. That's where the word uh, assassin comes from kill themselves, to kill the crusaders, immolated themselves. They do it all the time. Now we have this in Iraq. Shiites against Sunni. The blood sacrifice of the, of the martyrdom of Ali. The world, this concerns Iran and it's important to us. Iran is mostly a Shia Muslim nation, but it's having problems with some of its Sunnis. Yes. The blood Sunni psychosis. say as a minority, they're right. A minority, they're right. And a religious psychosis as sex and blood blood sacrifice, penance, torturing the body. And then when it's not enough, or torturing the body and all that, so then you kill yourself. <laughs> if you find a cause that is better than yourself, oh boy, go over there and defeat the enemy because I'm going to go to heaven, and from there I'm going to tell the armies to go and defeat my enemy. So, boom, blows himself up. <laughs> now his remains should be collected and then do a ceremony, Islamic ceremony, where you put a uh, uh, pig's blood on top of the remains and you do the proper prayers. He'll never enter heaven uh, solving the problem. Here's another way to suffer for God. The second day, the landscape becomes even more extreme and Sukumar visibly struggles climbing a hill, wallows in defeat. You know stupid thing is? Believe in God is a psychosis, very dangerous. Just two miles to go, the temple is visible. It actually erodes the intellect and reason. People that believe in God are stupid and deluded. From completing the remarkable pilgrimage, he started a mind-bending 36 hours. What a very pious person. Why my blood? Wait a minute, let's sacrifice... The devil, the bulls and dogs. Dogs are there for our benefit and entertainment. Let's kill them. The crime that I used to, they love blood. This from ancient Rome. Hey, psychotic yeah, Christians the love that. For this raid, she's been uh, just like bullfights. Quite a while. I can't imagine that. I mean, here we are, what, in 2009, and people are still fighting dogs. Well, but still believing in zombie Jesus, crazy. Rick. Um, and flying okay, prophets. A couple pieces of sound for us to kind of tell the picture. It's religious psychosis for you. Set that up for uh, I have a baby that is born. You have to be purified and belong to us in the name of God. In the name of God. And when you grow up and you get rid of the Jewish psychosis and accept Christ psychosis, then you can do this. Forsaking bath, bed, and sex, they piously march from city to city, performing gruesome masochistic acts. Lunatic. <laughs> they in Spain all the time. But in every country infected with Christ psychosis, they do this. And these are not Muslims. Again, these are Christians. Christians. No, no, no. That's lame. If you don't want Christ psychosis and Christianity is not the true faith for you, then you can adopt Hindu psychosis. They still have blood. It's more interesting because you have a lot of piercing. And these devotees are driven by the belief that one day they too will be reborn on four legs within these temple walls. That is religious psychosis for you, Christians. Because sometimes anesthetic for Tevan Theramani, yeah. dulling the pain of the skewered tongue. Believing God is, a, a is an anesthetic to life pound tower and reality. His shoulders, both real and symbolic, a display of devout penance. A Lumpur businessman is halfway through a five-hour walk, a pilgrimage to please his God. 
Lord Marugan. Yeah, is that more piercing for you? Now, just go back to Christ Psychosis, the Philippine style. It's only a little thing that is sacred that you inject here and it will protect you. Very simple, it doesn't hurt. But you have the protection of God. Christ himself. Inside your arm. Philippines, militia groups invite their God to enter their body, to enter their body. For the faithful, these talismans are shields to blunt a deadly sword. Even, but only if you can endure the pain. Religious psychosis is, all, is the cause of all the problems in the world today. So if you don't like that pain, you like pleasure, but you have to inflict pain on those who deserve it. And guess who deserve it? Well, if you're a leader of a country and you're a very pious Christian, and you develop your own branch of Christianity. And you can call it Nazism, and you can rid of all the salesmen. All the people that sell you stuff, the speculators, all that stuff, that have all that money. Uh, get rid of them. The best way to do it is to gas them. No more of this problem. No more trade and, you know, pushing all this garbage merchandise on you. Yeah, no speculators. Just get and on top of that, they kill some bejesus, our Lord and Savior. Yeah, they say, let his blood be upon us and our descendants. People of the province of Judea, Palestina, <laughs> of the Roman Empire. So, no, no, we have to, yeah, they deserve to be punished. They killed the Prince of Peace. Poor guy. I mean, all the blood and they whip him and they torture them and they're re-killing him and fell on the cross and they whip him and oh oh that's so bad those people are so terrible besides they sell all this bunch of garbage all over the place and selling and trading uh here is the prophet of christian nazism there's a lot of pre predictions in mein kampf and here is pius the 12 the nazi the nazi pope and alles ist für dich soldaten Ich hatte gesagt, ich kenne die Gesetze dieses Landes von dem deutschen Volkes. Gott mit uns! But what do you expect from Christians to retire that flagellated themselves silly <laughs> in the 12th century? If all of them would have been on drugs, like good Amanita Muscadia Peyoto, like the Native Americans, they would have been so peaceful. <laughs> that is the reason the natives of the Americas didn't stand a chance when the Christian retards invaded them and enslaved them and tortured them. Now we have a mentally healthy, brilliant president of the United States. <laughs> an atheist. You don't want to say it because 80% of the people in America are retarded, infected with Christ psychosis. They don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. They still believe in zombie Jesus that resurrected to save mankind from the uh, sin committed by a rib woman and a, a mud created man when they accepted a fruit from a talking snake. Who's going to believe that garbage today? If somebody says, I am a Christian, means to say, I'm a retarded psychopath. <laughs> I believe 2 plus 2 equals 5. <laughs> so, uh, the next thing that President Obama should say is to put all these people that believe 2 plus 2 equals 5, in other words, religious people, in mental institutions, like the people that suffer from depression or autism and all that, uh, you know, given the right medicines. And uh, slowly the, the the churches will go out of business. Opportunity because we don't need the psychotics, but I mean mental institutions. Uh, and he may have missed That's where they belong. Just signing a proclamation. Yeah, because they're the psychotics. The president uh, will publicly observe uh, national prayer. You'll do it privately. As I said, uh, uh, privately. Uh, He'll pray as he does everything. That's right. Here is a cure for suicide bombers. You have to fight fairy tales with fairy tales. This is what you do. When somebody commits a crime like a suicide bomber killed himself, you gather all the, the bones and the remnants of the uh, psychotic bomber, and then you do a ceremony right in front of the Capitol building. You take all the suicide bomber remains and you put uh, pig's oil and blood and you do the prayers and Iman will do the prayers and all that stuff. No more suicide bombers because they will never reach heaven because you impede it with your damnation prayers. <laughs> That's the only way. You fight a fairy tale with a fairy tale. Patch it your arm.